So when you first log in, you might have problems seeing your equation. It's probably not rendered properly. It might look something like this. So what you want to do is you want to enable it by going to this JS Math button. This is the program that's trying to make it look pretty for you and use regular math. So click on that and go to Options. Under Options, the best way to render it is to use fonts. So you have to go download those fonts. Now the fonts you download depend on your, your computer. If you have a PC, you probably want Darkness 25. If you're using a Mac, you want Darkness 10. Uh, you can adjust it if you like, it's, it's up to you. But I'm going to choose 25 because I've got a PC. So then it's going to uh, ask me to download it. I'll just save my, my file. And when I go to open this, then you're going to have to extract it. Now that I can see all these fonts, all that you have to do in Windows is highlight them. If you right click, it says install. It'll give you some progress here. All done. So I close this. Don't need this anymore or my download screen. And now it'll be able to render math. The only problem is uh, you have to restart your browser before you'll be able to see it. So what you should do is um, you can say you're done, but close your browser and then reopen it. And I'll go back to the quiz into the review assignment. And the question that I'll get, this time when the JS Math loads, it's going to try to render this. And there it is. If you still have a problem, what you want to make sure is when you go into options that this one is selected. Now that you've installed the fonts and that they're on the system, that might be the only reason left that it's not working is that you have to tell it to use the native fonts and then say that you're done. Um, uh, again, you can choose how you want it, but your settings, you'd like to keep that as the default. So instead of this session only, you know, put a year and then at least you know by the time our course is done, it'll always be that way. But I think that is the default once the fonts are installed, that it looks for them first. Okay, so now you should have regular math symbols to display.